The Bucyrus, Erie 257, aka Big Kate. This huge walking drag line has been operational since 1978. In terms of size, it stands 220 feet high, which is taller than a 20-story building, and can operate in a radius of 300 FT, equal to the length of an American football field. The weight of this drag line is 10.4 million pounds, and it features a 310-foot-long boom equipped with a 100-cubic yard bucket. It has an over-under fair lead system that helps keep dirt out of the machinery house and makes the drag rope last longer. Unlike conventional walking drag lines, it was built in module sections, thus not requiring any welding to assemble. This means its assembly takes only a few weeks, while others need months. Before we dive into the next incredible machine, show your support by commenting below and hitting that subscribe button. According to the Guinness Book, the Bagger 293 is the world's largest land-based vehicle, coming in at 315 feet tall, 740 feet long, and weighs over 31 million pounds. It was built in 1995 in Germany for mining operations. The Bagger 293 excavates using a massive 70-foot spinning wheel at the end of a long arm. This wheel is equipped with a series of buckets that, as the wheel turns, scoop up soil and deposit it onto a conveyor belt. The conveyor belts then load the dirt into the dump trucks. Being the largest bucket excavator of its kind, the Bagger 293 can excavate a football-sized hole 80 meters deep in a day. In simple words, it can dig 8.5 million cubic feet per day and requires a crew of five to operate. What you think of this machine? Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. This is floating mulcher from t 20. This mulcher is built on an all-terrain vehicle with low-pressure tires that can traverse marshes, impassable terrain, rivers, and lakes. It's perfect for removing forest vegetation from power lines and oil and gas pipelines. It is propelled by a six-cylinder engine with 200 horsepower and 700 net one meter of torque. A hydraulic engine with a working pressure of 20 megapascal powers the cutter. Due to its intelligently crafted cutter blade, big tires, and high-strength steel frame, the floating mulcher is unstoppable in the most challenging situations. The ESP-06 from Kona Cranes Gottwald is a mobile harbor crane designed to serve Pan Amax class vessels. It has a lifting capacity of up to 125 tons. The crane can handle loads within a radius of 49 miles mer and its lifting speeds of up to 120 meters per minute. Its two-rope variant is available and offers high flexibility when handling containers as well as general and project cargo. Also, its four-rope grab model is available for bulk handling of 52 tons. Universal Transport is a European transport company headquartered in Germany. The company owns the largest fleets for transporting heavy loads over 50 meters in length, weighing up to 100 tons. A 140-ton bucket wheel, which has a diameter of 14.7 mm, had to be moved in an open mine. 
The load was on several supports to the trailer and was lifted hydraulically to pick up smoothly. The 400 meter long voyage through the soft ground had to be conquered once the weight was secured or the road was totally covered with gravel, specifically for this reason. Upon reaching the location, the component was placed on supports, the trailer was hydraulically lowered, and the task was completed successfully. The Suwako S500 from Mary Tractor has 760 horsepower, a six-cylinder Volvo engine, and a crawling undercarriage. Different track systems, such as steel tracks, single rubber tracks, and twin rubber tracks, can be used with modular constructions. The PTO gearboxes are built explicitly for securely delivering high torques. The POC clutch acts as an overload release clutch. If the preset sliding percentage is surpassed, the Aptor mechanism switches the PTO to neutral. It can work in settings where traditional tractors lose power and traction. Because of its considerable engine power and mechanical power takeoff, the S500 provides faster, more efficient operations at a reduced cost per acre. Before we unveil our next machine, why not show your support by leaving a comment and subscribing to our channel for your regular dose of machine marvels. The Liebherr LR1-3000 is the world's most powerful crawler crane, offering a lifting capacity of 3,300 US tons and a maximum hoisting height of 774 feet. Liebherr created it for heavyweight lifting operations. It has been used to put up more than 1,500 pounds of heavy structures, such as power plant units, refinery structures, and industrial columns. It is also the only crane in its class that can be used without derrick ballast. Winches with single drives provide fail-proof operation. In case of failure, a drive can be chained under load. Moreover, despite its massive size, this gigantic crane can be delivered at a minimal cost all over the globe. Also, it uses concrete ballast units that look like 20-inch containers and are easy and cheap to move. BelAZ is a Belarusian-based company known for producing large dump trucks. In fact, the world's largest dump truck belongs to this company, which is the Belaz 757 Ton. It weighs 360 tons and has a payload capacity of 496 tons. According to estimates, the price of this truck is six rollers, 7.5 million. Belaz has introduced several models and series of such mining trucks, but all of them can be categorized into two types based on their transmission technology. The hydro-mechanical transmission uses fluid with a pump to run the wheel, while the electro-mechanical transmission consists of electric motors that drive the truck. The R9800 is the largest mining excavator on Earth, weighing 881.85 US tons. The excavator is powered by two 16, 16-cylinder 16 engines that generate a total output of 4,000 horsepower. 
it can be utilized both as a backhoe or face shovel. As a backhoe, it is equipped with a BH62.1 cubic yard bucket. For face shovel configuration, a 54.9 cubic yard bucket can be mounted. It works best in conjunction with Liebherr T282B mining trucks and can load such big dump trucks in just four to six passes. Liebherr installed a unique hydraulic technology that, combined with the precision of electronic control, contributes to energy optimization. Moreover, its hydraulic pumps are electronically managed to provide optimal pressure, compensation, and oil flow management. The hydraulic system is independently regulated over the engine circuit for the best operational efficiency. The Lark LX. It is the biggest amphibious vessel built for the United States military. It was available in three versions and could move 60 tons from ocean to inland, through rough seas, and up inclines as steep as 60 degrees. It is still the only amphibian in the present inventory that can access and escape the coast through breaking waves. The Lark's Elex comes equipped with 265 horsepower diesel engines, twin propellers, four-wheel drive with two or four-wheel steering, and a capacious cargo box. The enormous dimensions of nearly 62 feet in length, 26 feet in width, and approximately 20 feet in height were the only significant limitations. The tires are nine inch high, the Lark's turning radius is under 75 feet, therefore it is very nimble for a vehicle of its size. The Combi. SC is a straddle carrier with unrivaled turnaround speed and secure loading and unloading at ground level. It locks the container mechanically and elevates them with rope wire, which is a flexible and cost-effective way to move containers. It can lift, move, and set down high cube, reefer, and flat rack containers that are 20, 30, 40, and 45 feet long. The driver has a 360-degree view from the seat, and it takes only two minutes to unload from the trailer to the ground. What you think of this machine? Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. The Caterpillar 79 Mises on F, which is the second largest mining dump truck in the world. It is huge in terms of size, spanning 49.5 feet in length and 31.25 feet in width, and with a fully raised dump body, it reaches a height of 51.5 feet. It is powered by the Kate C-175, which is a 20-cylinder, 4,000-horsepower diesel engine compliant with U.S. EPA emission standards. Moreover, it is equipped with a CAT 7-speed planetary power shift transmission that automatically adjusts gear ratios to enhance powertrain efficiency for the application. In addition, its lockup torque converter provides low-speed movement control and unsurpassed stall torque while still providing economic direct drive haulage. the MT-700. Mary Tractor designed this crawler tractor to be efficient, flexible, and adaptive in severe environments. The tractor works quicker and consumes less fuel per hectare than any other way due to its high engine power and extreme duty mechanical power takeoff. The combination of power and enormous torque allows its big displacement engine to function at low RPM. This tractor can be outfitted with the Mary Crusher MG Chis 311 DTX for mulching activities, which is made up of carbide cutters for thick soil and dense vegetation. 
It has a rotor diameter of 24 inches and a working depth of 12 inches. The coordination of these skills allows them to crush, clean, and reclaim the soil in abrasive circumstances, whether in a forest, construction, or agricultural site. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to give the video a like and to subscribe to the channel to see more like it. The 4800 XPC Komatsu is ultra, class electric rope shovel that was built for challenging environments. With its 92 cubic yard dipper, the shovel can fill a large dumper in just three passes. Its adaptive controls are designed to increase output while reducing boom jacking by up to 50%. It has a dynamic crowd design system that ensures fine motion control and high crowd forces to enhance penetration and reduce abrasive damage. To prevent the collision between the dipper and the tracks, its shield system monitors the dipper's movement and mitigates damage as necessary. The Komatsu D575 is the successor of D555A, and its production began in 1991. The first version of this dozer was just for dozing operations, but another model was later introduced with dozing bald and ripping features. Its most advanced model can move 125 cubic yards, means 96 cubic meters, of material per pass, as well as can dig to a maximum depth of 6 feet 9 inches. In terms of size, it measures 38 feet 6, inches long, 24 feet 3, inches wide, and 16 feet high, and weighs 157 tons. You're looking at one of the biggest wheel loaders ever built in the world. It is the Komatsu PNHL 2350 that comes with an operating capacity of 72,574 kilograms. It was designed for dump trucks with payload ratings ranging from 320 to 400 plus tons. The dozer has state-of-the-art features. For instance, Whenever its hybrid drive slows down or stops, it changes into a generator and sends power back into the electrical system. Likewise, it has a Lynx 2 network control system that provides instant, real-time feedback to boost productivity. The spacious cab is environmentally controlled, offering excellent visibility, a comfortable ride, and room for a trainer seat. This is CAT 6060, a 600-ton hydraulic mining shovel that comes standard with a 44.5 cubic yard bucket that can be configured for a backhoe or face shovel. The bucket payload capacity is 67 US tons. This enables the CAT 6060 to fill any ultra-class dump truck in just four passes. During operations, it exerts a breakout force of 295,140 pound force. Such a tremendous amount of power comes from its two CAT 3512E engines that, as a whole, generate 3,223 horsepower. Moreover, the new hydraulic system and other enhancements have been installed that boost its fuel efficiency by up to 15%. With a max dig reach of 16.5 meters, the CAT 6060 can dig 2.8 meters deep and hold its bucket 15.5 meters high. It has a new cab equipped with a widowed floor so the operator can have more visibility. In short, the 6060 is an engineering masterpiece. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to explore one of these two options for more fascinating machinery content. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe.